YouTube, what's going on? It's you, Terry on with Lemon Frenchies, bringing you guys a brand new video. I wanted to make a video about safety whenever it comes to selling puppies or doing business. Whenever you sell a French Bulldog or whenever you are meeting someone, if you have a stud and you're offering stud services, it's very important that you meet where there's a lot of people, public places. Some guy I met at Walmart and he's still, this guy tried to give him fake cash and take the dog. Walmart has cameras, but at the same time, if someone has a hood on or something or their plate isn't readable, you can still get robbed for your Frenchie. Frenchies are number one dog in the United States. These dogs are very sought after. They People love these dogs. They're very good companion dogs. Unfortunately, we have people in this world that are crooks, criminals, and what you spent your hard-earned money on. So yeah, I wanted to make a video on safety. When selling a puppy or even when buying a puppy, you can, uh, especially when buying a puppy, if you're just now getting into the breeding business and you're buying your first Frenchie, I would ask the breeder to meet you know, at the police station or somewhere where there's cameras, there's multiple people. If something was to happen, other people are around. Most criminals are smart. They're not going to do anything while other people are around or there's a camera looking right at them. Or if you're at the police station, most people won't uh, do anything stupid. I'm pretty sure you can even go in the police station for the transaction. You don't want to be super paranoid and, you know, freaking out, but you do want to be cautious. Uh, me personally, I'm not going to meet nobody anywhere, you know, on a back road or I'm not going to anybody's house or no one's coming to where I live because just for safety reasons, you know, it's not smart. Just be smart when you're buying a Frenchie, whenever you're selling a Frenchie. If you're talking to the person buying the dog or you're the person buying the dog, and you're asking the buyer, hey, can you meet in a public spot to where I know for sure, you know? You don't even have to say that. If you just say, hey, can you meet in a public spot for this transaction or whenever you give me the puppy? And if they're like, ah, you know, hesitant, come to my house or meet me on this on this road, that's a red flag to me. Anybody that's legit and wants to do serious business, no one's gonna turn that down. Anybody that's legit isn't gonna turn that down because in the long run, it's, you know, benefiting you and them. They know you're a serious buyer. They know you're not trying to take what they have and then you know, you know, that they're not gonna try to take your money when you're buying the dog. So be safe, be smart about everything. Uh, don't be paranoid, just be thoughtful and be smart and always have your guard up. If you have something to keep yourself protected when you're selling Frenchies, I, I advise that. Last year, an old man was selling a French Bulldog KFC parking lot. They took the dog and killed him. I don't know exactly how it went down. It's a story, you can look it up. The pain is so great, so piercing, so gut-wrenching, Karen Hannah can barely stand on her own two feet. Joey, please. Her father, 76-year-old Lonnie Alford Ray, met someone hoping to sell this Merle French Bulldog. Investigators say the buyer grabbed the leash, shot Mr. Ray, and tried to kill the person with him. That was his life. That's what he loved. And to have his life and take it away from him. Deputies hope surveillance video helps them track down the killer. And even though people saw the shooting, investigators say no one is talking to them. It, it's really it's really frustrating because, you know, that could be your family member next. Um, you, you never know when you want someone to speak up for someone in your family if someone do harm to him. And like Mr. Ray, he lost his life. Ultimately, the dog got took and he lost his life. And he was an old guy, man. That's he lived all these years just to die from selling a French Bulldog. So use your brain. I'm constantly trying to think of what someone, how someone can get a one up on me. They, you're not, you know, that's when something happens. Just take caution, be smart, be leery about who you're talking to. If you, if you think it's not good and you feel bad, it's probably bad. Go with your gut. You know, if your gut's telling you no, my intuition's never wrong. Sometimes, you know, your gut feeling is the best thing to go with. Anytime I get a feeling, I'm normally right about that feeling. So talk to these people, figure out if they're serious. You'll know if they're serious. If they're, they're putting up a, if they're going back and forth about, you know, they can't meet in a public spot or they can't, if someone's buying a dog from you and they want to use like PayPal, you know, that's a scammer's, that's a scammer's go-to. Anybody that sells French Bulldogs do not use PayPal. PayPal is all scammers basically. PayPal is buyer's guarantee. They can get their money back easily. They can say they didn't get the dog or however that might go. Don't use PayPal. Use a wire to wire bank transfer. Just use your wire to wire bank, meet at your bank or uh, cash is probably the best. Don't take checks nothing like that. I don't take cash app. I think Venmo safe. I'm not sure though. I've even went as far as to getting a money counter whenever if I'm selling a Frenchie and I'm somebody's giving me uh, cash whenever I get there in person, run it through that. It's all solid. Here's your dog. Here's your paperwork. Nice meeting you. And once you buy a dog from me, you know, we're locked in for life. You're part of the family because you trust and believe in my camp and what I got going on. So that means a lot to me. And it's not like, oh man, he don't, he don't believe me. He's counting my money. No, it's just, it's protecting myself. You know, Frenchies are expensive. Frenchies 
Frenchies, the Frenchie game is very expensive and I've invested way too much money to just have somebody give me fake money, I'll keep it pushing. I know it sounds crazy to some people, some people watching, but it happens. It trust me, it happens. Uh, people, people are breaking into these dog stores, stealing Frenchies, masked up, pulling up in a van. Video of an apartment robbery in far west Houston. Three men broke through a sliding door and held up the people inside as they rummaged through their belongings. They snatched up two dogs, one of them a French bulldog valued at $4,000. Now you can get a good look at the robbers here as he drops the dog. The dog then runs after those robbers and that's the last time it was seen. And these Frenchies are worth thousands of dollars, you know. Just keep that in mind. Even when you're letting them outside, you know, people are coming up. Just keep that in mind. And even if you're not a breeder, if you have a Frenchie, the cheapest Frenchie should be around $2,2500 in my opinion. And that's a standard. Even then, $2,2500, that's, that's a pretty penny to spend on a dog. Not only that, for us, they're part of our family. I would die protecting or fighting for my dogs because they're family, you know? And I've got money invested into them and they're part of my business. So, you know, just think about it. Be smart. Always be leery. Always be on the watch. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope somebody got something from this. If I helped one person, that's my goal. Uh, remember, new videos every Monday and Friday, two videos a week. We're staying consistent. We're on the road to 100 subscribers. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like, comment. My social medias are all Lemon, Lemon Frenchies. My Instagram is Lemon Frenchies LLC. Uh, reach out to me. Uh, let me know what you think about my videos. If you need help, if you got questions, let me know. And I'll be there to help you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.